today we're looking at calculating angles around a point, so building on our work from last week where we looked at calculating missing angles on a straight line. You can pause here to read the success criteria. Essentially what it boils down to is using your knowledge of right angles and straight lines to help you to understand how to calculate angles around a point equaling 360 degrees. So if you have a look here, you've got a 90 degree angle on the top left. That's one right angle. And so if you have a look at the diagram, every time you add a right angle, you're adding a quarter of a turn, you're adding 90 degrees. So if you want to pause here and try to fill in the blanks, you can. Otherwise, following that diagram, one half of a turn, which would be two right angles, you can see in this image here, would be 180 degrees. You're simply doubling what's on the top line here. And then continuing on, we now have, if each right angle is one quarter of a turn, we have one, two, three quarters of a turn in this third diagram here, or image here rather, which is three right angles, which is of course 270 degrees. If you have a look at your nine times table, nine, 18, 27, so 90, 180, 270. And then a full turn, which would be four quarters, would be four right angles as shown in the last image here, which gives us 360 degrees. So having a look here, if you know that a half turn is 180 degrees and a full turn is 360 degrees, how can this help you calculate a missing angle? So again, it's not about being able to measure the angle through the protractor, it's using what you already know to try to help you to calculate. So if we know that a full turn, this full circle, has four right angles, that helps us to understand that it's 360 degrees in total. Therefore, if I want to figure out that missing bit, all I need to do is take the angle that I know and subtract it from 360. So, A is a 110 degree angle. Here we have two angles around a point, and we have A, the missing one, the third angle. And how can we calculate that? Well, again, if we know that a full turn is 360 degrees, okay, you could do it two ways. You could take 360, subtract each of those angles, or you could add up both of the parts. So, we can add up 145 degrees, 127 degrees, okay, and if you have a look at the top question here, can you estimate? Well, we can't measure the angle directly. It might look like a right angle to some people, but if you have a look at the angles that you do know, their total is going to be over 270 degrees, okay? Therefore, it is a good chance that this angle, the missing angle A, will be an acute angle. So let's work it out, okay? If we add those together, these two parts here, so this whole section of the circle, so this whole angle, would be 272 degrees. So again, we know a full turn is 360, so we need to subtract what we know from here. We need to repartition there. And we need to repartition this one as well. And so angle A is an 88 degree angle. Now here, we decided to do a little tricky one. We know that all of these angles are A. Because each of them are A, we can also assume that each of them are equal. So every angle A is the same measure. We can calculate this two different ways. Um, having a look at that, there are eight of them, so you could do eight into 360 if you're dividing that. Or you could think about what you know about right angles. You have one right angle here, one here, one here, and one here. And if each right angle is 90 degrees and angle A is half of that, you can tell me that actually A equals a 45 degree angle without actually calculating anything. Feel free to pause here and give these a try. Um, you can go back in the video to have a look at how we calculated those as well. And here are the reasoning and problem solving questions for the day. Good luck. Good luck.